What's going on guys? Twitter Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're debuting 97 overall finest Francisco Lindor. Let me go ahead and show you his stats right off the bat. He's 97 overall. So let's see if we can get 97 likes on this video. 122 contact versus lefties, 100 power versus righties, 95 power versus lefties with 80 contact versus righties. Of course, he is a switch hitter, 95 fielding, 73 speed. Absolutely amazing card i also have that i'm not debuting today but we can get debuts for if you guys would be interested in the future i have 97 finest jose ramirez also on the indians and then if we go over to center field i also have the 93 finest lorenzo kane i have francisco lindor leading off today just so he can try and get as many at bats as possible in this video of course we have the 93 overall louis tian on the mound so maybe he can actually pitch for us in this video the new ranked seasons just started so we're gonna try and work our way towards world series towards immortal clayton kershaw let's start off the series get this win start off one and oh we're playing the brooklyn dodgers our opponent has their created player leading off followed by the finest francisco lindor we both got him uh followed by what looks like another creative player that's probably just a little glitch jd martinez 90 chase utley 92 jose bautista aaron judge immortal cal 92 cc on the mound we got 88 felix hernandez on the mound we're the away team francisco lindor leading off he's going to be the first batter of the game a lot of you guys have wanted me to change my in play offense to dynamic so we're going to try out dynamic today if you guys would rather see a different in play offense let me know i think with this one you might be able to see the bat flips on no doubt home runs as well i'm not 100 sure and some of you guys have wanted a pitching view behind the pitcher i'm not going to do that today but i think if we get enough people saying that they want that that might be something that we change to in the future as well all right francisco lindor leading us off facing cc sabathia his first no way he hits a home run his first pitch he sees no warning track fly out man oh my goodness i really wanted that to be a dinger that would have been an amazing way to start off this video hung a slider a little bit to finest lindor on his team and he's getting a base hit here with one down in the first inning man i wish we would have hit a home run immortal mike piazza is who our opponent has hitting third. So it showed two creative players on that lineup screen, but it actually turns, oh my goodness, it turns out to be immortal Mike Pizza, and he grounds into what was an amazing double play by Felix Hernandez, wow. Ball four to Aaron Judge. So I'm using the dynamic camera angle like I showed you guys for the in-play offense. I normally use medium, and I think I might just switch it up a little bit this game. I think uh, I might give dynamic a little bit of a try, and then I think I might just go to some of the other ones. Just see if there's any one that I like best. If there is one that you guys like the best, maybe it's dynamic. I got quite a few comments saying that I should try out dynamic. So that's why it's the one I chose for the beginning of this video. But if there's one that you guys really prefer, definitely let me know down in that comment section. All right, Francisco Lindor coming up two down here in the top of the third. Nobody on for his second at bat of his debut. I've tried out all of the camera angles so far already. I was just switching them after each batter. And my favorite is the one that I normally use. It's medium. However, I'm trying out dynamic right now. I'm seeing if I can give it a little bit more time. Maybe it will grow on me. But definitely my favorite one is the one that I normally use. But the only issue is you can't really see if the player does a bat flip or anything. You know, after they hit it, you can't see the player. All you see is where the ball is going, which I understand it might look better if we're using dynamic. But it's also, to me, just a little bit weird. But part of that is I'm not really used to it. Aaron Judge takes Felix deep. That's the first run of the game. I think the second hit of the game. I don't even know if I have a base hit at this point. Uh, I don't think I do. I have a walk, so I got a base runner, but no base hits for me. That's my opponent's second one. We just hung a curveball a little bit. Or not a curveball. We hung a changeup a little bit. Caught a little bit too much of the zone, and we're down one to nothing. I'm not too worried, though, man. I, I, I think I should be able to score a run and uh, at least tie the game. We just got to start pitching a little better. Oh, man. That's going to be a base hit. Little blooper over the shortstop's head. And nobody down. Another base hit following that home run. CeCe Sabathia up to bat. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to bunt it here. 
But I think I'm just going to throw some sinkers and really try to get a double play. Just get a quick two ounce, get that runner off of the base. He's stealing, he's bunting, and no way we can get him at second. The sacrifice works well. So runner in scoring position, only one down. Top of his lineup, his creative player coming up to bat. I'm going to have to be careful here. Trevor Story, no doubt about that one. Okay, now I like the dynamic camera angle for the offense. I really like being able to see Trevor Story. He didn't really seem to do any bat flip right there, but it still seemed pretty cool. You were able to see him. You were able to see him kind of watch it a little bit. And just like that, I got my first base hit of the game. It's one that ties the game with the homer for Trevor Story. We literally made perfect contact on that one just now. It looked like maybe like a little bit on top of it. But that's my first hit of the game. That homer by Trevor Story. I got to get some more base hits. We're here in the fifth inning, and I'm just getting my first base hit. Maybe it took me a little bit to get warmed up. I'm not 100% sure. But if I want to win this game, I probably need to get a few more base hits. As you guys can see, CC Sabathia only at 39 pitches. So I think I also need to watch a few more pitches per at bat. We're in a 2-2 count with Gary Sanchez. I just got to do something like this. Not necessarily every single at-bat, but a lot more of my at-bats. I got to foul off pitches. I got to be selective, all that good stuff. Aaron Judge might have just hit another. Charlie Blackman trying to rob it, and I, I didn't jump. I, I swear, I promise you guys, I was pressing the stick up. Aaron Judge, his second homer tonight. I threw a sinker down the middle. I was trying to get it on the outer part of the plate, okay? And I throw it down the middle. Other than the two judge homers and the first base hit, I think, by my opponent, I haven't been pitching too bad. We did miss our spot on that. We missed our spot on the other judge homer. Uh, but really, my pitching's been solid this game. Felix is at 41 pitches. He's working fast. I just hit CeCe Sabathia with a sweeping curve. Uh, but I, I honestly am not pitching too bad. We're only down 2-1. to one. We've only given up four hits. And I got to start hitting a little better. Probably start got to start hitting my spots a little bit better. For the most part, like I said, it has been good. But we are struggling a little bit. And it's resulted in two home runs so far. Francisco Lindor coming up. His third at bat of the game. He is 0 for 2 so far. Really looking for my first base hit with him here in his debut. I can't be swinging at those, man. It was a check swing, but that's a pitch I got to lay off of. I think because it's his debut, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, I I'm here swinging at a lot of pitches. I really want to get base hits with him. So I'm trying a little bit too hard. We made nearly perfect contact a little bit on top of that one. As you can see, we kind of lined it out, but we're on top of it. Sent it kind of in a nosedive. Francisco Lindor, 0 for 3 in his debut, man. I'm struggling. I've one hit. I, I, it, six innings six innings of at bats for me and I only have one base hit that needs to change Joey Votto with a base hit my second one of the game 26 speed uh, Jose Bautista I think out there in right field doesn't actually he has a pretty good arm maybe it's live series Bautista that doesn't have a great arm or maybe both of them do and I'm just crazy Aaron Judge I would love to hit a dinger with him here and tie the game up or no take the lead does he turn it? No, he doesn't turn it. I was going to say he had a little bit of hesitation, it seemed like, on deciding where he was going to throw the ball. And no double play for him. Christian Yelich coming up to bat. CC still on the mound. I got to be selective. I got to get some hits. Got to get some runs. Jose Bautista sends me deep. Third solo shot of the game for my opponent, and we're now down three to one. I felt like I was making a good pitch there. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, hung it a little bit. Okay, I thought I had good release. I don't remember, though. Maybe it was just a little bit of a missed spot, whatever. Felix Hernandez has allowed three homers on five hits. Aaron Judge has two of those homers. He's coming up to bat again. One out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. So I'm down right now before the inning's over, before Aaron Judge might hit another homer. I'm down by two with six ounce to work with. So I'm hoping I can just get out of this inning, not allow any more runs. And go tie the game, you know. Top of the eighth inning, go tie the game. Maybe even take the lead. And hopefully not hang any more pitches, not make any more, more mistake pitches, and just win this game. Stay undefeated for the entire year 
in ranked seasons. Two down here in the top of the eighth inning with Felix Hernandez coming up to bat. I'm going to pinch it for him. We have a few guys warming up in the bullpen. I'm thinking... I'm thinking Justin Turner here. We're in Dodger Stadium. We're here in L.A. Hopefully he gets a base hit or a homer. Francisco Lindor comes up to bat, hits a dinger to tie it. I think that would be absolutely perfect. Justin Turner, pinch hit, line drive, out, man, shoot. Honestly, there's been a few times where I've made, like, really good contact like that and just lined it out. So hopefully in the top of the ninth inning when we're down to our final three outs, we can maybe – straighten those into the gaps where the hitters aren't things like that maybe send them over the wall get a little bit of elevation on it but something's gonna have to happen if we want to come back and win this game ball four to his creative player Chapman struck out the first man he faced it was pinch hitting Nelson Cruz and then we go and walk his creative player so finest Lindor coming up grounding into a double play we're going to the top of the ninth inning Francisco Lindor finest making his debut leading us off here in the inning Hopefully starting the comeback, the rally with Josh Hader, I believe, on the mound. Let me check real quick which version it is. Okay, I was spamming starting and wouldn't let me. Ball one to Francisco. Oh, man, I really do not want to lose this game. This would be my first L we've taken in ranked seasons all year. It's the finest Hader, 125 hits per nine. You guys can see how small that PCI is. Oh, man. Francisco Lindor fouling it off. Okay, one and one. He's hitless, man. It's his debut and he's hitless. However, a lot of my debuts are always bad. I really do think it's just because I'm trying a little bit too hard to get a base hit with him. We got a battle, man. It's one and two. Francisco Lindor, bro, getting under it, I think. He sends it deep. Could it be a second warning track flying at the game? No, it's gone. He cuts the lead to one with the homer in his debut. Let's go, baby. Oh, man. I shouldn't have swung at that. Dude, that's crazy. I really wasn't sure if it was going to get out of here. Barely sneaking over and hitting that foul pole. Nolan Arenado gets a base hit. The rally is going on, guys. The tying run is on base. Nobody is down. Let's see if I got a pinch hitter uh, or a pinch runner, I should say. So, I'm, I'm spamming start. There we go. Okay. Um, substitutions for Arenado. He has 45 speed. He plays third base for me right now. Um, no. Oh, Joey Gallo plays third. Okay. So, 94 speed. I got to get D Gordon on the bases. The tying run, I need to do this. I never pinch run. I need to right now. He seems like he's expecting a steal. There was a slide step right there and a fastball. Another one. Joey Votto in a hitter's count. I might steal. I'm not sure. Joey Votto into the gap. Oh, wow. I thought that was going to be a lot better than it was. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, oh, he lines it. That one could be a homer even. No, not even close. Yeah, we just missed it, man. Shoot, Aaron Judge coming up now. Aaron Judge, no doubt about it, baby. Let's go. Aaron Judge putting us in the lead. Let's go, man. It, it, honestly, there was some doubt about it, but we got it. And we take a 4-3 to three lead on that Aaron Judge two-run bomb. All rise. Let's go, man. Wow. The comeback is real. If you guys are still watching the video, you stuck around until the end when we were able to come back and take the lead. Still got to win. Let me see you guys comment cookies down in the comment section below or all rise you know let's go with all rise i think that's a little bit better than cookies coming on that aaron judge dinger wow dude that's awesome i can't believe we just came back like that immortal piazza starts off the ninth inning with a pretty big hit i gotta remember i gotta take d gordon out i'm pretty sure he's sitting at third base so we gotta put joey gallo in so the tying run is in scoring position Nobody down here in the bottom of the ninth inning. I think I should stop throwing low changeups because nothing good is coming from him right now. Ball four to JD Martinez. I'm not too worried. He has lefty Chase Utley coming up to bat. I'm going to bring in Josh Hader. However, he's probably going to pinch hit would be my guess, especially uh, because it's like a do or die situation. And then he has... One, two, three righties following Utley. So I think after Hader, uh, after this batter, I feel like I should probably bring in a righty, but I'll, I'll just get to that point when we get to it. Let's see what happens in this at-bat to chase Utley. 
Oh man, 1-0. Dude, I really want to double play here. This is probably not the pitch to throw to get one. <sighs> one and one. I, I really want to throw a low changeup right now, but I need to get it down. I can't be hanging it like I have been doing all game, especially on that leadoff one to uh, Immortal Piazza. It was not at all where I wanted to get it. All right, so let's go low change it, but really focus on getting it low. Oh, man. Please, please catch it, Judge. Let's go. Don't get to third. Don't get to third. He's not. So, yo, we have a double play opportunity. A double play wins the game. Jose Bautista, 92. Um, Three righties in a row. I got to bring in Judge or uh, Diaz, man. I got to do it. Oh, Lord. Nashek's good, but... Or not Nashek, uh, haters good dudes. My mind is like, everything's moving a million miles an hour right now. Jose Bautista. Wow. That could have ended it all. Okay, let's do a slider. Oh man, good pitch. Change up low and outside. Don't hang it, don't hang it. Let's go, baby. That's only going to get one. Shoot. I really wish it would have been a little harder hit straight to the shortstop or something and got a double play. So, Aaron Judge coming up. He has two dingers already. Okay. And Immortal Cal Ripken is on deck. I'm, I'm pitching to him. I want to walk him, but I'm pitching to him. Lord, man. I'm scared. I'm so scared right now. Aaron Judge pops it up and we win the game. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, even though he was only one for four, I will I will say that is a successful debut for Francisco Lindor. One, just because it was an amazing game, but number two, because he started the rally. That solo shot, that barely it barely got over. He had another warning track fly on this game. That one wasn't able to quite sneak over, but he had the home run that started the rally that ended up winning us the game that kept us undefeated on the season in ranked seasons, man. Wow. That was a crazy game. It was a really good game. Four to three. Only 11 hits in the game. Uh, that's something I got to work on in ranked seasons is just getting a few more base hits. Uh, if you guys have any tips for that, let me know. I'm using a lot of power hitters right now, but their PCI is kind of small. But it seems like if I use contact hitters, I just fly out or line out. You know, it, do it doesn't seem like I'm getting more base hits if I do that. It's something I could try, though. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. I think we're going for 97. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're on the road to 17,000 subscribers. Comment anything down below. Comments all rise if you made it to the end. Saw that Aaron Judge Homer. Also, feel free to let me know if there's any players you want me to debut. I'm probably going to be debuting Jose Ramirez. Maybe this weekend. I kind of want to this weekend. We'll just have to wait and see when we want to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace out.